Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, in part 3.2 of Mastering Parallel Programming series, we are diving into the efficient handling of loop breaks using parallel loop state. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. EFX Components If you watched my previous videos on Mastering Parallel Programming series, you might recall this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn how to break out of loops efficiently with parallel loop state. Efficient loop break with parallel loop state in C sharp. When you are doing tasks simultaneously using loops in programming, it's not easy to stop the loop whenever you want using the regular break state. Instead, you use something called a parallel loop state object to stop the loop. Let's imagine you are counting apples with your friends. Instead of one person counting all the apples, each person counts a few. If one of your friends finds a rotten apple and wants to stop counting, they need to tell everyone to stop. That's exactly like using parallel loop state to stop a loop in programming. Okay, so let's understand the parallel loop state class first. Parallel loop state class enables iterations of parallel loops to interact with other iterations. An instance of this class is provided by system.threading.tasks.parallel to each loop. We cannot create its instances in our code manually. Within the parallel loop state class, we have several properties and methods at our disposal. If you see this code snippet, it has four properties. Right? What are those? Is exceptional, is stopped, lowest break iteration, should exit current iteration. So these are the properties. What are the methods? Methods are break method and stop method. Okay, let's review one by one. Is exceptional. Is exceptional is a property that helps us identify if there was an exception during execution. While is stopped indicates if any iteration called a stop method. Now come to the lowest break iteration. If it returns null, it means that you called a stop rather than break on the loop. Should exit current iteration. So this one basically talks about whether the current iteration of the loop should exit based on the request made by this or other iteration. If it is true, then it means current iteration should exit. Otherwise, it is just going to return as a false value. Now come to the methods part. Break method. What break method does? Break method stops the loop but allows the current iteration to finish. Whereas a stop method, it stops everything immediately even if some iteration haven't finished yet. Now we have seen the structure of this class parallel loop state where we have four properties and two methods. We are going to utilize these things in order to break out of the loop efficiently. Example of break method and stop method of parallel loop state. Okay, so let's consider a sequential loop where we break when encountering a comma. So in this code, if you see, I have written for each loop, for each char c in welcome viewers, if c equal equal to comma, then we are just breaking the loop with the help of break statement. If c is not comma, then what we are doing, we are just printing into the console window the character. That's what I have written here. The break statement is used to exit the sequential loop prematurely. But we cannot use this break statement in the parallel loop. For that, we are going to utilize parallel loop state break and stop map. You see, this first parallel dot for each where I have written welcome viewers C comma loop state. So this combination is nothing but the accent delegate where C is a character and here loop state represents parallel loop state instance. So inside that, I am just verifying if C equal equal to comma then what I am doing, I am just utilizing this break method of loop state. That's what I have written loop state dot break. So this method stops the loop but allows the current iteration to finish. Now, if you see this uh, another parallel dot for each loop where I have used this stop method. So this method stops everything immediately even if some iterations haven't finished yet. So now you understood, right? What break method is going to do and what a stop method. Only simple difference is break method stops the loop gracefully, allows the current iteration to finish. Whereas loop state dot stop method is just going to stop everything immediately, even if some iteration haven't finished yet. Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so now we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the parallel loop state. For that, what I have done, I have created one console application named parallel loop state demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I am adding these namespaces in order to use that in this program. Then there is a class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. First of all, in this main method, I am printing this statement into console window with the help of console.writeline parallel loop state demo. 
then I am just printing sequential for each loop with break statement. Before jumping into the parallel loop, I just want to show you how we are going to break the loop with the help of break statement in sequential for each loop. That's what I have written this statement. Line number 14 to line number 19. Line number 14 to 19, what I am doing? I have written for each loop, right? Where in for each, care C in welcome viewers. So this is basically a, a string and I am iterating character into that what i have written for each care c this is string the string is nothing but you can consider as a care array right if c is equal to comma then i'm just using this break statement in order to break the loop of this for each what i have written break semicolon if character is not comma then this console dot right line statement will be printing this character into the console window that's what this for each loop is doing over here. then equivalent for each loop i have written in parallel way for that what i have done i have used parallel dot for each loop here i am just showing you parallel loop state break method how we can use that right here what i have done parallel dot for each here i have written this statement welcome viewers and then c comma loop state this combination basically is nothing but the accent delegate right here c represents the character and loop state represents the parallel loop state instance with the help of parallel loop state instance, I am just going to call this break method. So, when we are going to call break method, when C is matching with the comma, if C equal equal to comma, then I am issuing this break method. That's what I have written loop state dot break. If C is not comma, then what I am doing, I am just printing this character into the console window with the help of console dot write statement. And here also, I'm just going to show you how we are going to utilize this stop method. Parallel dot for each loop with parallel loop state stop method. Similar way, I have written this parallel dot for each where I have written welcome viewers comma c comma loop state. If character is comma, that's what I am just comparing. If c equal equal to comma, then I am calling this stop method of parallel loop state with the help of its instance that is loop state over loop state dot stop method. If c is not comma. Then I'm just printing into the console window the character. And if you notice, I have written additional property and I have just commented it because I just want to show you how we can utilize this, you know, is exceptional, is stopped, or maybe uh, lowest break iteration, should exit current iteration, right? So how we are going to access it? You see, I have used the same instance of the parallel loop state, loop state dot is exceptional. Similarly, I have Used loop state dot is stop loop state dot lowest break iteration. Similarly, I have used loop state dot should exit current iteration. So those things, if I want, I can print it into the console window. But for the simplicity, I have just commented. But here I have just written because I just want to show you that you can use these properties with the help of loop state in this fashion. Okay. So now you have understood this program how it is constructed. Let me go and execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, so output got appear into this console bit. You see, first statement got printed parallel loop state div. Then sequential for each loop with break statement got printed. Here I am seeing this output as a welcome because after welcome, comma is there. Welcome, comma, viewers. So we want to break it whenever this character is matching with the comma. That's what. This welcome only got because we have break the loop with the help of break statement. That's what this statement got printed. Okay, if you see this parallel dot for each loop with the parallel loop state break method, it just printed M W E L C R O S capital V I E W space E W E space E exclamation mark. Because whenever we are issuing this break statement, means it is just halting this loop gracefully, allowing ongoing iteration to complete. That's what this this many characters got printed, even though we have issued break method. Now, if you see this parallel dot for each loop with parallel loop states stop method, here this character got printed W space L V E O I M because stop method immediately halts all iteration, even if some are unfinished. If you see these characters as less than these many characters when we issued this break method. Okay, so that brings me to end of my session today. To sum up, in this video, we learned how to break out of loops efficiently with parallel loop steps method like break and stop. With break, as I said earlier, that loop halts gracefully, allowing ongoing iteration to come. Whereas loop state dot stop immediately halts all iteration, even if some are unfinished. Stay tuned for more insight on mastering parallel programming. 
that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video